all right so hi guys so um as you guys know i don't have the best skin um yeah my skin never skins so there is this particular makeup that i do every time that kind of like now conceals my discoloration and my pigmentations and my little little acnes so i'm just going to give you guys a bit tutorial and yeah so um unlike some of you i'm still i'm still with her i'm still with milk of magnesia so as you can see she's dried up because i've opened this like every single day i had to do makeup i'm not saying i don't take my natural skin out you guys actually do take my natural skin out but like occasionally like this weekend my skin flared up so yeah she she has to be walked out so basically i just um this mostly goes to my nose area and this side of my face as well if you guys see me looking here that's because i've got a mirror behind so yeah just um basically we're going to oh god this is too much i usually don't use this much you guys just in case and because of it's dried up it's very easy to blend in and i don't have any white cast at the end of the day so i don't know if you guys will leave yours to dry <laughs> but yeah whenever i apply too much on my forehead it's always very hard for me to blend in so i just basically apply every other place for those of you that have seen my shorts or my reels on this makeup um there's really nothing i'm adding i'm just this is just a very longer version and a very more precise version as well so basically i have these three foundations you guys are doing this concealer because i'm too broke <laughs> so basically i have these three con um foundations i have zikel in the shade 20 this is sexy almond this is another one in the shade 10 golden caramel and this is a classic foundation in the shade cf04 so basically sometimes when i'm trying to go with like the under eye look i go with this two like the very bright under eye i go with these two that's the shade 10 and my normal classic but you see i just made a new hair i'm not trying to shout i'm just trying to be cute so i'm using this one which is shade 20 and my normal classic foundation so basically normally i just like press a bit and yeah i'll just my brushes are the ghetto so yeah we just basically use my brush to do every other thing so as you can see i'm um mapping out my nose because she seems to have swollen up as well <laughs> this weekend i don't know if it's because i didn't eat good food or because i've not been working out for a while to be honest i don't know why my skin is like this but we move as you can see it's dry and crusty and the funny thing is that i've not also been taking a lot of water because um i've kind of stopped taking tap water so the strength to like buy like the big water and then bring it all the way to my floor is quite it's a it's a lot so i've just been putting a hold on that one and yeah that's what's been that's what's been supping i've literally put in put a hold on my water as well so i've not been drinking a lot of water like this morning i haven't even drunk any water so i also think that's why my face is like this because normally i'm like a water girl three four seven i'm drinking water but now it's sad so yeah i'll just go with the um classic foundation and just um yeah i just press that in and normally because i'll be distributing this around my face i really um depends on the look i'm going for i don't know if you guys have seen like my full face beats before but normally for my full face beats i don't do this i do a different shade but this is like my regular everyday bits that i don't have to stress about so basically before any other thing we'll just go ahead to spread her so make sure that she is evenly distributed not too evenly distributed just enough 
to set in basically so now that she's like this i'm just going to go in with my elf setting spray you can use any setting spray this is the only one i found so yeah i'm not that i'm not that expensive <laughs> to buy elf um as you can tell i'm already using, i'm still using most of my products from 2017 so yeah okay so once that is almost dry we're just going to go ahead to um press that into our skin yeah yeah and basically when i'm doing all these i usually start with the darker shade like i usually start um blending with the darker shade before i blend as you can see i'm just like um I'm focusing it on this area and then i'm just going to drag a bit to this area because that's where i usually cut so it has to have like a bit of foundation there as well um now we go into this part and just press that in as well just making sure everything is well saturated if you can probably tell i'm already like this is already like my thing so it's quite easy for me to get the hang of it and it's quite easy for me to like do whatever i want to do so you know oh this has dried so you know one thing about mastering mastering in particular um kind of makeup is that you can literally do under five minutes sometimes i do this makeup and like in five minutes i'm done but because of i'm talking and i'm showing you guys the products that's why it's taking oh shh, my eye what is wrong with my eye what is in my eye um there is something anyway remove so it depends on my mood sometimes i use a foam a blending um foam a beauty blender that's what they call it here sometimes i use a beauty blender other days i just go with the flow so wherever the spirit leads um you guys should be familiar with this already this palette this palette is literally um since 2017 so this palette is literally five years now and i need to get a new one as you can see but because i'm very faithful I must finish it before I get a new one and I'm very broke right now too. So basically I usually I usually use this one first. I usually use this white one. Then I go in with these two, depending on how I want it. Usually when I want the bright on the eye, I go in with this one only. But now I think I'll go in with this and this because I want it a little bit subtle. And then for my remaining skin, I usually mix within between these two. And for my contour, I mix between these two as well. So now that that is settled, you're just going to see me distributing everything around. So now we're starting with the white one. Just to make sure that um I'm doing too much but not doing too much. I usually start with the white bees. Oh, 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 oh. And then talking about your eyes i know they'll be so basically usually i use i leave this one here so that my nose is like snatched so i leave this one here and then i go in with my contour so for my contour the darkest shade as i told you I know they'll be coming to find me. So my contour doesn't usually take long. Then I'll go in with, oh gosh, my eye is itchy. So I'll go in with one of these. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this one today. And just cut my face. And cut my face as well. Then just um, yeah so once that is done 
usually for my blush i go in with anything that has a red tone so it can be this 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 it can be any literally anything that has a red tone so for the purpose of today's video i've been loving um i've been loving this one i usually use this one when i do heavy makeup as you can see this one is like my most used so i put a pause on that so it doesn't finish <laughs> now i'm here so i i go between like the orange the orange and this one so usually i use the orange first then i go in with this one the orange is literally like the blend for me before any other thing so um you can see like the way i'm going with my face yeah then i'll just go in with some of that wine then put some on my nose and some on my eyelids so to make sure that there is not too much going on i'm still going to blend in with my highlight So now let's settle this powder as well. Oh, but you guys, I'm tearing up and I'm distributing the tear in my eye. What the heck? What the heck? Anyway, that's how it is. So, depends on the look I'm going for. Usually, I go in with an eyeliner, but I'm not so sure. Where's my stuff? Oh, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Can you imagine? She was literally here. Um, yeah, so normally I set my face at this point because I'm literally done. And another thing is that I don't like setting my face when I'm putting when I've put on mascara because I always 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 smudge it always so yeah going with my mascara I usually focus more at the end of my eye because even if I have no eyelashes there they still seem to do something sweet and then I just like going lightly in the other sides basically so focus on the ends of my eye and then going lightly on the other side so after that i use the remnant and then i brush out my eyebrow as you can see my eyebrows are perfect so no need for any 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 extras my eyebrows are perfect i don't know if you can see um the strength i'm using to stroke this i'm not putting it like psh, on my on my face i'm not putting it with a lot of force on my face i'm just like lightly brushing my eyebrows um so for my lip i use this kajal because this is like not suitable for an eyeliner because it's very horrible <laughs> but it's very good for a lip liner i don't know the brand but it's this yellowish thingy so i just go ahead to line my lips also my lips are perfect so i don't do too much i just follow the natural lip line i have uh yeah my lips are perfect my eyebrows are perfect everything about me is perfect uh then oh yeah sorry i forgot to show you so this is the shade of this lipstick i really don't know the brand i saw it in like um a pharmacy and i bought it um yeah it's it's unbranded <laughs> is it i don't know but it's um this is what it's showing on there but yeah it's quite unbranded let's be honest so because I like the 
i like the old school makeup vibe so i like it when my lips are like silvery depends on my mood i usually go in with highlighter but i really i have not been liking the highlighter look recently so yeah and then i go in with my lip gloss to top it up and make my lip look full even if it is already like you know we like a bit of extra in everything so um yeah that's it for the makeup now let's just do my hair so basically um i made my hair yesterday i know it doesn't look like it but yeah i did um and well it's 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 been good i guess there's really nothing i want to say so basically for my hair i want to go with one oh gosh i forgot i packed it behind i'm just going with this style and that is the look um yeah she's looking like a, a baby girl what i started with and what i am now <laughs> there are two different things my dear they're two different things my dear um so because i'm in a hurry i'm not sure i will be um saying any other thing but yeah hope you guys like this video see you guys in my next one and um, have a lovely day bye bye